What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Brolic John with another episode of How to Play. And on this episode, I got a really, really, really fun one for you. I promise you, I promise you this is a good one. These games that I recorded are insane. This team is so much fun. Let's get straight into it. Let's talk about the heart and soul of this team, which is wheezing. Neutralizing gas turns off the abilities of all Pokemon on the battlefield. We all know about it. It's nothing new. It's not a secret tech. But what I like about this team is it allows me to leverage wheezing in ways that my opponent isn't 100% expecting. So this team has a really good way of playing with people's expectations. And let me get into how. Now, the main way you want to use this wheezing, which is the heart and soul of this team, is you actually want to have wheezing in the back. I think one of the worst things that wheezing players have the tendency to do is lead wheezing. When I play against wheezing in team preview, best of three, best of one, it doesn't matter. I'm planning for how to beat the wheezing, right? So the easiest way to work around that and to put momentum in your favor is to have wheezing in the back. And a great example of a strategy you could use is let's look at Tornadus, right? Tornadus is one of the most popular Pokemon on the ladder right now because of Prankster Tailwind. It is broken, as the kids would say, right? So Tornadus is out there. Your opponent leads Tornadus plus Urshifu, right? And you lead Urshifu plus Iron Hands, right? Let's just say Urshifu plus Iron Hands. This Urshifu has a scarf which means it outspeeds all Tornadus. So what you can do is you swap out the Iron Hands who gave you a little bit of fake out pressure. So hopefully your opponent might protect or something like that, you never know. So you swap out the Iron Hands into Weezing. Weezing will then turn off Prankster, which will allow Urshifu to go Terra Water and one-shot the Tornadus. Now, Tornadus is just an example, but that type of strategy works with many different Pokemon, right? Now, the cool thing about leading Urshifu is your opponent will not protect, even though Weezing is going to come in and turn off Unseen Fist. It's just a really cool interaction, right? Now, there are some Tornadus that are able to survive Urshifu Surging Strikes. You'll notice that there's like these 252 defense rocky helmet tornadoes that are running around the format we have answers for those too but that's just a quick example of what i mean about having wheezing in the back sometimes having him switch in and turn off abilities is just as powerful um another great thing about this wheezing is it 1v1's iron hands right with willow wisp um burning that iron hands just making it borderline useless um wheezing is so good versus opposing iron hands wheezing is so good versus opposing urshifu uh, because we're carrying the citrus berry that allows us to live surging strikes even from like adamant urshifu's terra water we heal up with the Citrus Berry, and then we hit a Will-O-Wisp, because why not? Um, Gunk Shot is really, really strong move into Flutter Main. Um, it could do a good 50 to 60% damage into Flutter Mains, which will then allow you to pick up a Flutter Main with like a priority hit, or just something that might otherwise be resisted. Think Aqua Jet plus Gunk Shot into Flutter Main from Terra Water Urshifu. That'll pick up a knockout. Um, it's another slept on thing. Now, I know you guys see the Toad Scroll. Now, this Toad Scroll is very, very bulky it is terra water it has leftovers giga drain earth power rage powder spore this is not a toad scroll team right obviously the way it works is neutralizing gas turns off mycelium might and this allows you to go for fast spores what the toad scroll does on this team is it kind of applies like a mental pressure where your opponent looks at it and he goes oh i know that gimmick i know about spore i'll plan ahead but truthfully, I don't usually always bring the Toad Scroll unless I just need a, a solid redirector. 
And if I'm being honest, Terra Water with Rage Powder and the amount of bulk that this Toad Scroll has, it ends up being a really good redirector. Also, Earth Power is really, really good into Heatran teams. Um, most Heatran players may or may not know this, but Toad Scroll actually outspeeds Heatran. So as a Grass type that can one-shot Heatran, that's what makes Toad Scroll really special, right guys? It's the ability for it to outspeed and one-shot Heatrans. It's its ability to apply pressure with Spore and to really just be a very, very solid Rage Powder user. Now, you'll notice we have Arcanine with Ability Shield. Um, this is a very fast Arcanine. Um, this Pokemon is very straightforward. Terra Fairy is very reliable. Um, the Ability Shield allows me to get off and Intimidate whenever I need it, which when you pair that with our final two Pokemon, you'll see why this team could get really oppressive defensively, right? We have Will-O-Wisp, we have Intimidate, we have Breaking Swipe. Physical teams do not do well into us, and special teams have a problem dealing with Urshifu for the most part. Um, um, now we have Fluttermane and Chiyu, which is a big, big threat. Um, that's why we're Terra Fire Iron Hands, because Terra Fire Iron Hands could just go fire in front of Chiyu, Fluttermane, one shot the Flutter, and call that shit a day, um, which is really, really powerful. Um, Roaring Moon is Booster Speed, Terra Poison, Tailwind, Breaking Swipe, Protect knockoff it's a really really bulky roaring moon most of this team is bulky um the arcanine is actually a little bit fast um if you guys want this pokey paste you guys can have it all i ask is we need 10 comments all right now it has to be 10 unique commenters please do not comment my video one two three four five six oh look i did 10 yay please don't do that guys <laughs> i appreciate the love i appreciate the support but if i get 10 unique commenters i will drop the pokey pace for this team this team like guys I already recorded the games. I need you to watch these games, guys. I need you to stick around, and I need you to see how crazy this wheezing goes. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Drop some comments below. Let me know what Pokemon from the DLC Indigo Mask you want me to feature first on the channel. Let me know what you want to see. I'm going to work on it. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the games. Enjoy the video. Enjoy the rental. Yeah. Alrighty, here we go. And we have some hyper offense here. Uh, we got a Torn... Uh, we got Blood Moon Ursaluna. I'm um, looking to do some whammage here. Now, when I see Torn, I generally want to go for like a specific little strategy that I have here. Um, the question is, is who do I want to put next to Urshifu to kind of get this strategy going here? Um, I would like to bring Intimidate, but that's not going to be that that good here. Um, how's Toad School? Toad School's not great. Um, considering the coverage, um, this might have to be like an Iron Hands lead. Um, I think Iron Hands is pretty, pretty decent here. Um, with like maybe Roaring Moon in the back kind of thing. Um, I'll go Hands with Wheezing and Roaring Moon, I think. Uh, I'm not sure if this is quite enough offense to get the game won. Um, but I definitely have some plays that I should be able to make here. Ideally, I want to deny Tailwind, and then I want Roaring Moon to be the fastest thing, right? So me leading the Iron Hands is really a little bit of bait, because if they lead Tornadus, um, the plan with Iron Hands is to then simply just swap it out into Weezing. We're going to turn off the Prankster, and then we are going to try and one-shot the Tornadus with Urshifu. So here's Tornadus and Ursaluna. Um, this is kind of more or less what I was looking for here. Um, this is pretty good, all things considered. I am going to go Terra Water. I am going to Surging Strikes the Tornadus. I am going to swap the Iron Hands into Weezing here. Um, this is going to turn off the Prankster. So now the only thing we have left to wonder is how bulky is this Tornadus? And does my Urshifu one-shot it, which will deny Tailwind? That's what we're going for here. Neutralizing Gas turns off the Prankster. 
Now my Terra goes through. If we can go ahead and deny Tailwind here, um, I'll feel pretty good about it. Now hopefully he protects the Ursaluna because of the Iron Hand's pressure. Uh, but then again, he can't protect because I'm Urshifu, right? So he's probably really hoping for Tailwind here. Oh, he does protect. Oh, that's so good. That's so good for us. Now we should deny Tailwind here. If this denies Tailwind, then I've made the correct play. Yeah, that should deny Tailwind. That should deny Tailwind here. Let's go! That's the play I was looking for. I was looking to basically get him to commit to Tailwind, and then essentially it will allow me to deny that Tailwind, right? So now he's in a spot where he lost his Tornadus, he doesn't have speed control, Weezing was so, so, so good for us um, to start this match here. Now he brings in his own Urshifu, which is also water. He brings in his own Urshifu, which is water. Um, now I'm Scarf, he may or may not be faster than me. I really don't want to make any switch-ins here. I kind of just want to Surging Strikes into this Ursaluna and I want to Willow Wisp um I want to Willow Wisp their Urshifu and really nerf down that damage. Now let's see what they're terrestrializing. I'm assuming it's the Blood Moon Ursaluna. Oh, they actually terrestrialized their Urshifu into water. Are they going to try to take out my Weezing? I mean, I don't fold to close combat. He might be faster than me if he's Scarf. Alright, so it turns out I'm still faster with Surging Strike, so that's really, really good for us. That should knock out the Ursaluna, and this should bring us down to a um, 4v2 situation. Now, I'm not sure if my Weezing is going to survive this Surging Strikes. We'll see. It's going to be very scary. I think with Citrus Berry, I should just hopefully barely live and then land a Will-O-Wisp. Oh, he actually just goes for close combat into my Urshifu. Oh, I'm totally fine with that. I am totally, totally, totally fine with that. Um, now, if we hit this Will-O-Wisp, that should be GG's. Ah, oh, no! Okay, we missed the Will-O-Wisp, which is not ideal. Oh, man, if we would have hit that Wisp, that kind of would have been a little bit of the GG's. Um, I definitely want a Surging Strikes to Chen Pao, but at the same time, he could Sucker Punch, right? Um, he could Sucker Punch. He could Sucker Punch, he could Sucker Punch, he could Sucker Punch. Um, alright, so I think what I want to do, um, I could switch, switching might lose me so much momentum, I'm just gonna Surging Strikes to Chen Pao there, and I am going to, um, Will-O-Wisp the Urshifu again, I think. I think that's my best play. He goes for Sucker Punch, that is gonna take out my Urshifu, I could have switched out, maybe, um, but I think this is fine. Now my Weezing has to take a Surging Strikes here, and now it's Chen Pao boosted. Oh, no, it's not Chen Pao boosted because of Weezing, so that's good. Um, let's see how well we take this. Okay, with Citrus Berry, we live. With Citrus Berry, we live. Man, if I would have just hit that Will-O-Wisp last turn, it would have been so much better for us, right? It would have been so, so good. Um, but we do live this, so now we get this Will-O-Wisp off. Yep, he loses some with Life Orb Chip. Alright, so this Will-O-Wisp lands. Alright, so now, how do I want to play this? We got the Burn onto Shifu. Who do I have in the back? I have Iron Hands, and I have Roaring Moon, right? So I think the play here is to bring in... I mean, I know he's Life Orb. Um, do I want Tailwind? I think I bring in Roaring Moon here. And I can start going for Breaking Swipes, um, which should do some pretty good damage here. Now, the problem is, is Roaring Moon might not live in Ice Spinner from this Chen Pao, but we're going to try our best here. Um, oh, I can knock off the Urshifu. No, no, no. Breaking Swipe is the play. We just want to weaken his team up so that Iron Hands definitely wins. Um, I could protect the Weezing here. Which I think is probably the play, actually. Yeah, I'm going to protect Weezing because I want to keep neutralizing gas on the field. Neutralizing gas right now is way better for me than it is my opponent. Um, because we want to make sure that Chen Pao's ability is turned off. Especially now that I'm going to spam Breaking Swipe here. And I'm just going to soften these guys up to make sure that Iron Hands wins. 
Urshifu goes for Detect, okay. That's a good play by them. Weezing goes for Protect, okay. He went for Sucker Punch! Nice! He Sucker Punched the Weezing, so I get a free Breaking Swipe into Chen Pao now. That's so good for us. That's so good. Dude, Weezing is absolutely carrying. Let's go, Weezing. Nice attack drop. Um, that's going to be pretty good for us. Um, he can Surging Strikes and knock out the Weezing this turn. Uh, I'm going to go for Breaking Swipe again. Um, and then I guess if I manage to stay alive, I guess I can Willow Wisp the Chen Pao here. Um, try to really neuter its damage down. Yep, because he's going for Sucker. That's why we go for will o -Wisp. So now we get another Breaking Swipe down for free. Chen Pao's at minus two. Urshifu is at like minus two as well. And the burn. So let's see what he goes for here. He Surging Strikes the Weezing? Okay. So this is going to take Weezing out. So now his abilities will finally go live. Um, but I think that's okay. He showed me Detect on Urshifu. Neutralizing gas wears off. Sword of Ruin is now active, which is scary. But you know what? Sword of Ruin also helps. Um, also helps my Roaring Moon here. I think Breaking Swipe will now pick up the Urshifu. So I think we no longer need to be afraid of the Urshifu because Breaking Swipe should pick up from here. I believe this is a win. I think Iron Hands always wins from here, but we're still gonna play this safe. I am going to Breaking Swipe and I am going to fake out the Chen Pao here. This should be GG's. Chen Pao goes for Protect, okay, good play. Is this a double Protect? It might be. All right, it's a double Protect. All right, good play. The thing is, is you're taking more burn chip damage. So at this point, um, you might die to one more turn of burn chip either way. Uh, so I kind of feel okay about this. Um, yeah, Breaking Swipe should definitely knock out the Urshifu here. Um, he could go for Sucker Punch. I think I'm totally fine. I think this is GG's. It actually doesn't die to burn, so I do need to land this Breaking Swipe, um, but it should be fine, right? Um, breaking Swipe and then Drain Punch into Chen Pao. Um, this should be GG's. He used this Terra, so he can't Terra Ghost. Um, this should be GG's. I just love how good Weezing was in this matchup. Um, I don't think the crit mattered, I'm going to be honest. But guys, that is the power of Neutralizing Gas plus Urshifu. It's a little bit out of nowhere, but trust me, this Weezing cooks. All right, GG's to my opponent. Yeah. Alrighty, here we go. And this is another interesting game that we have here. Um, we got Fluttermane Chiyu, which is always, always, always scary. Um, we have Torn, uh, which is looking for that speed control. We have Water, Ogre Pond, Arcanine. This is definitely a game where I think Weezing's going to be really, really effective here. Uh, I am down to honestly copy the lead I had before and try to snipe out the Tornadus. Um, I think I'm down to go Iron Hands plus Urshifu. Although, is my Hisuian Arcanine a better option here? Um, Hisuian Arcanine. Get off and Intimidate. Because I'm trying to think if they lead Chiyu Flutter, what's better? His Sway and Arcanine's really, really good into Chiyu Flutter, huh? Um, yeah, he is pretty good into that. Um, would Iron Hands be good? I mean, Iron Hands would force my Terra, which I don't want. All right, and then I want Weezing and Roaring Moon in the back, I think. All right, I think that's my best four. I'm feeling a little bit weird leaving home the Iron Hands because I know it can be so strong in this matchup. But truthfully, um, having to commit the Terra onto Iron Hands, is I'm a little bit afraid of that, right? I'm definitely a little bit afraid of that. I feel like the Arcanine with the Intimidate lead gives me the most flexibility, um, especially given that I am um, bringing Weezing in the back. So they bring out Tornadus. They bring out Tornadus. Okay, so... Here, I feel like I need to make the same play, which is to deny Tailwind, right? Um, especially, I think that Chi Yu is feeling a little bit threatened right now. So, I am going to go Terra Water once again. 
I am going to Surging Shrikes the Tornadus, and I am going to swap out into Weezing here, um, which is going to turn off the Prankster, and that's going to allow me to deny Tailwind, which means if my Roaring Moon gets up Tailwind, um, now I could put myself in a really, really good position to win. Um, now, even if he swaps in something like Ogre Pond, my Weezing is going to turn off the Water Absorb, but I don't think in this situation he really wants to do that. I think he's down to Tailwind here, maybe Terra the Chi Yu. Um, I think I got him in an honestly really good spot here. We just have to hope that um, the Surging Strikes will knock out the Tornadus. Um, but I believe it will. I believe it will. Alright, so here we go. Here comes the Weezing. Um, there's no way they protect it because it's Urshifu, obviously. So now Weezing is going to turn off their abilities. Um, it looks like we are getting some Terrastalization. This is my guy. This is Urshifu. Um, I'm hoping I got a Terra out of their Chi Yu or something, um, but let's see how this turn plays out. They might just be Dark Pulsing my Urshifu, which I might survive, I might not. Alright, big Surging Strikes. This is without Prankster, right? Oh my god, that did no damage. And it's Rocky Helmet. Oh, that's bad. See, this is the only bad thing is, um, yeah... That's bad. So some Tornadises are legit like 252 defense with Rocky Helmet. And that's exactly what happened to us here. Um, Dark Pulse into my Weezing is going to do a good amount of damage. Weezing's going to eat its Citrus Berry and hold on. And now he's going to set up his Tailwind. Oh, he's Sunny Dayed. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. He's Sunny Dayed. Does Surging Strikes kill through Sunny Day here? Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. I think it does. So I think we make that play and then we swap into Arcanine, swap into Roaring Moon. No, I gotta leave Weezing out here on the field. And then I just protect the Weezing, or do I take a cheeky gun shot into Chiyu? I think we protect the Weezing here. Alright, so he set up Sunny Day instead of Tailwind. So now I should be able to knock out the Torn. This is going to do more damage to me than it is to him. Um, but I'm hoping that this kills through Sunny Day. Oh, I don't even know if that kills through Sunny Day. Oh my lord. Okay, that should kill. 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 Come on. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we've denied Tailwind. My opponent is still in a really good spot, though, because of how bulky that Tornadus was. Good lord. And he Dark Pulses the Urshifu, so I could have got a free Gunk Shot into Weezing here. Um, Now, how do we win? Roaring Moon looks really good here. Um, but then if he brings in Fluttermane, that could be really, really bad. Um, but I think if he doesn't bring in Fluttermane, then, like, Roaring Moon is for sure the play. Um. Could just bring in the Arcanine here, right? Arcanine puts Chiyu in a tough spot. I think Roaring Moon's the play. Ugh! It should have been Arcanine. That's tough. That's very tough. Um, now, are you booster speed? If you're booster speed, this is real bad. Oh, yeah, the sun is up. Of course it's booster speed. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. This is bad. This is bad. Um, could protect Roaring Moon. Um, protect Roaring Moon and Gunshot Fluttermane. Oh man, this is so bad. This is gonna end up being a loss, but it's um, it's tough. I mean, he Moon Blasted, so that's really good for me. I'm gonna have to eat a Dark Pulse. I think I survive on like ten health, legit. Yep. Big Gunshot. Come on, Weezing. <laughs> that did not do enough damage. Oh no. Alright, um, alright, we switch in the 9 here, 
And we protect the Weezing. Alright, we switch the 9, we protect the Weezing. I'll tell you why. If we can stall out the sun, we can still win this. But barely. I should have just brought the 9. Oh, I should have brought the 9 out. But I mean, I guess this ended up working out okay for me. Um, he's probably going to Heat Wave Dazzling Gleam or something along those lines. He might be Specs. I think that's Specs because that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage, all things considered. Yo, Dark Pulse into Weezing Protect. Hold. Hold. Alright, um... I just have to Rock Slide here, right? I just have to Rock Slide. Man, do I swap the Weezing or do I just let him go down here? How many turns of Sun? Last turn of Harsh Sunlight. I think I let the Weezing go down here. Go for like another Protect. Yeah. Alright, yeah. I gotta let the Weezing go down, guys. I have to hope that he is not Booster Speed. Alright, the Chiyu is going for Terra into Terra Ghost. The Chiyu is probably looking to, um, looking to Dark Pulse me. My Arcanine is pretty fast, though. Um, so I'm hoping I'm faster, but we'll see. We'll definitely see. Fluttermane. Oh, Icy Wind. Oh, man, that's a good play. Alright, this is going to come down to whether or not I flinch. If I flinch, I lose. If I don't flinch, I win, I think. Because Roaring Moon gets to come in and go crazy. Don't flinch. Don't flinch. Yo! Okay. Hold. I should have just attacked with Weezing. <laughs> Alright, the harsh sunlight fades. Rillaboom. Huh. Rillaboom. Can I win with Rillaboom here? Um... Um, I mean, I guess I go for Flare Blitz. No, I think I E-Speed the Rilla just for whatever little chump damage I can get, and I protect Weezing. Alright, I think Roaring Moon can win. I'm wondering if I should have, if I should have saved Intimidate. Wait, what? I Did I not protect the turn before? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um. Damn. I mean, I don't think my Weezing outsped the Rillaboom there. I'm confused, though. I guess I should have just switched. Alright, Beads of Ruin is now active. So is Grassy Surge. So now here's the thing though. Doesn't Roaring Moon just win anyway? Because Knockoff is always going to knock out the Chi Yu, right? Because now I'm faster. What can Rillaboom do? Can Rillaboom high horsepower me? Do I, do I Breaking Swipe this turn? Or do I Protect to Scout for their Protect? Because Knockoff is going to kill the Chiyu either way, right? Alright, I think I Protect to Scout their Protect. Um, I think this guy's just lo locked into Dark Pulse, huh? Yeah, he's just locked into Dark Pulse. Okay, so I didn't need to Protect there. I gave the Rillaboom some extra healing. Um, but you could also argue I'm stalling a turn of Grassy Terrain, which is pretty, like, decent for me, all things considered. Um... He's going for high horsepower. Okay. Um, okay, so we knock off the Chiyu, and then we start breaking swipes. Okay. Um, I guess I should have did that last turn. Now, how much damage is this Rillaboom doing? Are you, like, choice banded? My Roaring Moon is pretty bulky, all things considered. Yeah, it was Specs that whole time. Oh, he crit me. Oh, Lord, that crit did a lot. That is not great. Um, Alright, I can't get crit again. So I'm just going to... Breaking swipe here. That crit might have won him the game. 
Um, but now I dropped his attack stat. He missed! Okay, that helps. That helps, that helps, that helps, that helps. That definitely makes up for the crit. Now he needs a crit to even, like, remotely have a chance, right? Alright, two more hits. Oh, wait, no, not with grassy healing. With grassy healing, he's kind of in the game. Okay, yeah, that did nothing. That did nothing. Okay. The grass disappeared from the battlefield. You guys think knockoff just kills from here? I could just knock off. Um... Nah, I think I breaking swipe one more time. Breaking swipe into knockoff wins. Alright, as long as he doesn't crit, I win. As long as he doesn't crit, I win. Don't crit. Okay. Nice. Knockoff for the win. Wow, what a game. Holy. Weezing was so clutch, dude. Living a choice specs dark pulse. Everyone was so clutch. Woo! Wow, GG's to my opponent. Yeah. Alrighty, gamers. I hope you guys enjoyed those matchups. If you did, please drop a like, a comment, a sub. I am a small baby YouTuber, so every sub means the world to me. Um, guys, once again, thank you so much for watching the video. Remember, 10 unique comments. And I will go ahead and I will post the pokey paste for this team. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching again. I really hope you enjoy this team. This team is sick. Let's go, Weezing. Yeah.